Here's how you can get AI running locally on your home PC. And the best part is no programming experience required. It's extremely easy to set up and it runs on old hardware. We're gonna be using a piece of software called LM Studio. Go ahead, type that into Google. This is the website you want, lmstudio.ai. We're simply gonna download the version for our operating system. Go ahead and install the application with all of the default settings. Once the application's installed, go ahead and open it up. You'll be greeted with a landing page that looks very similar to this. What you wanna do is then go ahead and download the particular model that you want to use. You've got Mistral, Google AI, and also Llama. I'm gonna go ahead and use Llama 3 as that's very popular right now. Go ahead and click the download button. Now, obviously I've already done this, but this is what the button looks like. One thing to take note of is this requires field. This does indicate how much video RAM you need, which is tied to your graphics card. Thankfully, my seven-year-old graphics card has eight gig of video RAM, so we can go ahead and use this. And what you'll also find is when it comes to the models, generally they get released in different sizes. So you have an eight billion parameter size and a 70 billion. Many PCs would really struggle to run the 70 billion parameter one. Next, we wanna head over to AI chat and at the top, we're going to select the model that we want to use. So all of the models that you download appear in this drop-down list, and we're gonna go with the Llama 3. This will start loading the model for you. Once that's loaded, you simply just type a message and hit enter. And you're done. It was as simple as installing the application, downloading the model, and then typing a message. You can then have back and forth conversations. If you want to start a new chat, you can simply click the new chat to get rid of all of the history. You can also delete previous chats. Now, what you will notice is it does tell you how much of your CPU percentage and RAM usage is being used. And this is obviously tied into your hardware. As you can see, some of the responses stream out quite slowly, and that's mainly because I'm running a computer that's seven years old. When I look at my CPU, it is currently ranked 267 in the market. And also when I look at my graphics card, which is running a GTX 1080, it's currently ranked 61. So if you've got old hardware like I do, it's really cool that we can still run and interact with these models. But also if you've got a newer computer that's built within at least the last seven years and higher specs than I currently run, you'll get a lot faster responses. Another cool thing you can do with the playground option is you can actually run multiple of these different models together at the same time to compare the outputs. And finally, you can do something called local server. And for me, this is really cool and something I want to play around with a bit more in the future, but you can actually start your large language model up running locally on your PC and expose it via certain API endpoints. Let me show you what that looks like. Simply click start server. And now we can make an API call to our local host on this particular endpoint and interact with it via the API. It gives you a couple of examples of how to do it in different languages. I'm just gonna copy the curl command, chuck this into a git bash terminal, and I'm gonna make stream equals false. So this way it'll just generate the entire response once we get it in a single object. And there you go, we've got our response. Hello there, blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. Now why I absolutely love this feature is because you can now build AI related applications completely locally on your own PC. And for me, I've done some really cool things where all the lights in my office turn on when I walk in and turn off automatically when I walk out. The missing piece is a smart ass AI assistant that roasts me every time I walk in. Now in theory, I could buy a Raspberry Pi, get a speaker and microphone hooked up to it, make that do an API call to my locally running AI every time I walk into the room, generate a smart ass response, and then have the response repeated back through the speaker. I think that would be a lot of fun, but at the moment I am limited by my home PC. I'll need to do a couple of upgrades to get the responses to be a little bit quicker. But ultimately, I would love to have a back and forth conversation with the smart ass AI running locally on my PC. That's the ultimate goal, and that's why I'm so excited to muck around with this API feature. So to recap, 
LM Studio is awesome. It's super easy to set up. It allows you to run large language models locally on your PC, compatible with old hardware, and it's a great piece of software. I highly recommend you check out. That's all I had for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.